autonomy has to do with us being self-reliant on one another, on ourselves, for our survival. All right, America was not created the way it is now with the so-called Negro, African-American, or Black individual in mind. It was not designed for our survival. It was not designed for our escalation. It was not designed for our edification, our empowerment. It was not designed for that. So therefore, we cannot use the current construct the way that it is to fully sustain ourselves. Now, we can use elements of it, you know what I'm saying, where we can be an aggregationalist. And I saw a film called Seven Millimeter, and they used a term called aggregationalist, right? So me, I'm not a full separatist, and I'm not a full integrationalist, right? What I do is I work almost like the movie The Matrix, right? What I do is that I go outside of Zion, right, into the Matrix to grab our people and bring them back outside the Matrix so that way we have more numbers when fighting against this machine. So what does that mean? That means that my objective for navigating through society is to accumulate a vast amount of resources then th that I then take and bring back to the community so that way we can better build the community. And this is, this is very optimal and very practical if we are going to survive in our current state because we are lacking a lot of resources, okay? Now, at one point in time, we had Seneca Village, which was autonomous. We had uh, Black Wall Street, which was autonomous. But there was there about four or five things that they were missing that I'm going to share with you guys now that if we implement then we can definitely revolve this situation that we're in right now, change it completely, right? Uh, starting first with our immediate communities. Um, and also, again, look up municipalities. See if you can implement municipalities in any black cities that you guys live in, all right? Look on the, the books to see how to start it, how to initiate it, because this is very, very important if you utilize it as a tool that can help us be autonomous, okay? The first thing is, we need to have a manufacturing uh, factory, okay? We don't have any assembly line factories. That is very important for mass production, for anything. If we're going to have a community where people need to be fed, people need to be clothed, people need to be armed, etc. if you don't have a manufacturing facility, right, with the assembly line, it's going to be very difficult for you to mass produce any product that's necessary for the survival of those people. So we have to invest in these factories. There's a lot of them in Detroit, and there's a lot of, uh, of them all over the U.S. You know, a lot of them are abandoned. A lot of them you can actually rent. A lot of them you can purchase. So we have to first create our own manufacturing plants with assembly lines so that way we can mass produce products. If we create things within the community, we want to be able to ensure that we don't have to go outside the community to have the oppressor produce it for us. So if we have our own factories, whether we're buying land and building it from scratch or whether we're rent, renting or whatever, we need these factories in order to mass produce products and goods, okay? This is very essential to our survival. And that was one thing, a uh, major thing that they did not have in Seneca Village and that they did not have at Black Wall Street. Number two, we need intel. Intel means we need our own informants that are integrated into society in various fields of society, all right? Whether that's education, whether that's politics, whether that's uh, science, whether that's uh, technology, whether that's um, uh, agriculture, we need our own intel in these areas, right? Government, uh, so that way information can be relayed back to our community so that way we are aware of what's going on around us and we're not in this self-contained bubble where we are oblivious to threats and danger that can impose itself and destroy what it is that we have, all right? Black Wall Street did not have good intel outside of the community because if they did, they would have been able to anticipate the things that came upon them before it occurred, all right? So we need intel. Intel is very important, and we need our own informants that are integrated in society that is relaying information back to us so that way we know what to utilize in order to continue to promulgate our growth, okay, or promote our growth. This is very important. So manufacturing is important. Intel is important. We have to know what's going on around us and we can't be a self-contained bubble where we're not aware of anything that's going on in society because those things can adversely affect us. Third is we need community currency and we need a community bank to regulate that community currency. Community currency is a means of exchange, right, an item for uh, that's useful for a means of exchange that's beneficial to both parties and that's uh it's, it's regardless of whatever the other party has to barter but it's a medium of exchange 
that is only valuable within our community. If we take the dollar, right, if we take any kind of paper, stocks, bonds from society and use it to fund our community, we are putting ourselves in a condition where we are not going to survive the long run. So we need to create a community currency where we create our own banknotes and have our own charter bank that's designed and utilized to circulate and to regulate the value thereof of those notes that we're exchanging. And those notes are backed by hard assets, whether it's silver or gold, whether it's a product, et cetera. We need hard assets backed by notes that's regulated by our own community bank. Because this way, whatever uh, currency that we circulate is only gonna be beneficial to us. We cannot keep using negotiable debt instruments from society because that will continue continually place us in a position of debt and a position of servitude to the oppressor. So we have to create our own community currency and that community currency has value within the community and if people want the products, goods or services that we're offering within the community, they have to be able to exchange whatever they have in our banks and use that currency to purchase our goods. And once we have those things, we have to create up our own insurance company to ensure the things that are being regulated within the community and also to uh, ensure that we have a committee uh, that's responsible for regulating things that are going on in regards to the bank and regards to ensuring things whenever we do business with other outside entities. That's very important, community currency, community bank, along with Intel and along with manufacturing. Uh, number four uh, that we have to consider is we have to do in, we have to have international trade agreements with other nations, right? That are willing to invest in our IP or intellectual property because these other nations will be the giants that will be looking out for our best interest because they have a vested interest in us, and this is very important. Black Wall Street did not have international ties and, and contracts and agreements with international governments, not just corporations, governments right so when you are able to afford your intellectual property to governments and governments are investing in you that means if anything ever happens to you domestically those governments will at least sanction the u.s via the u.n to intervene and see what is going on because they have a vested interest in us international trade agreements is important we need to continue to create our own products, goods, and services that other international governments will want and will be willing to invest in. We have so many brilliant minds that this is things that we need to create. Uh, and number five is technology. Technology is very important. We need to take the most brilliant minds that are going to these colleges and we need to bring back these engineers. We need to bring back these scientists. We need to bring back these people that deal with um, uh, aerospace and technology such as that, like Lockheed Martin and NASA and all of that. We need those black, brilliant minds to come back to our community and invest in technology. And we need to create some things that will ensure our sustainability. We need to create water uh, filtration, purification, and distribution systems. We need to create self-sustainable uh, um, farms. Right. So let's say, for example, for whatever reason, something happens to the sun, for whatever reason, we can have our own UV material to continue to sustain our farms, uh, along with the water filtration system that we can utilize to continue to filter uh, and uh, filter and uh, redistribute. Uh, we need to be able to create our own self-sustainable uh, earth ships, OK, which are places of uh, or homes that can sustain itself without needing the utilities from society or the corporations. And the reason why you know, your home is of ownership to the government is because utilities have to run through there and utilities are regulated. But if we take out the utilities and create our own self-sustaining system or earth ships, then we can produce in mass the resources that we need to sustain ourselves. All right. We also need to create technology such as force fields. And people may say, oh, you know, force fields, that sounds kind of spooky. It's really not spooky. And I'm going to find an article for you so you guys can see that force fields are being created through military apparatuses that are already out there in the world, okay? And why do I say force field? People may listen to that and say, well, that sounds crazy. If we create a self-sustainable ecosystem where we don't have to go outside of our community to sustain ourselves in a populace that dwells on that land, then if we create a force field, the force field will prevent any threats from entering into that community, be it nuclear weapons, via tanks, via airplanes, via anything that you can think of, that force field will contain and protect our community and the technology is there. We also need to create free energy systems, 
okay, that Tesla also introduced into the world. Creating these free energy systems, we can pull electrons from the atmosphere, right, or from the air, and we can transmute that into energy and electricity and power our homes without the need of running cable lines through the community, okay? Solar panels is also important, but solar panels can be compromised. But if you're pulling things from out of the uh, uh, electrons from out of the atmosphere, you will have a self-sustainable flow of technology, I'm sorry, of electricity, excuse me, uh, that will continue to sustain the community. So we need technology because this is at the forefront to our survival. And the things that I mentioned to you, again, I'm doing an upcoming lecture on that one. I'm going to go detail by detail on all these things that I say to you because before we can think about repatriating, we have to first recondition the mind, okay? Um, an example of that would be the, um, the uh, free blacks that repatriated back to Liberia. And the problem with those free blacks that repatriated back to Liberia is because when they went there, they had the oppressor's mindset and they started to impress the indigenous peoples like how they were oppressed when they were here in America. It was a complex that they were suffering from that they did not detox or cleanse themselves from before going back to the motherland to try and assist. They became the oppressor to the natives there and that caused a long civil war between the repatriated blacks and the native Africans that were there. So we have to get back to the indigenous mindset. That's why education should always be at the core and our people should learn these indigenous values, these individuals' ethics, these morals, uh, okay? So that way when we go over there, we can respect the cultures that we'll be interfacing with and we will also be able to afford and offer our IP in exchange for land, goods, and other accommodations, all right? So again, very important to create revolution here. And once the people can live off the grid and be self-sustained, then those people are qualified to repatriate because they will have been weaned away from the system from an extended period of time that they will not have this cold turkey feeling of wanting to go back to Big Brother or to the, to the uh, uh, conveniences of this society. Because if you're too hooked on to the umbilical cord of what this society is feeding you from the placenta of big brother and government, then it's gonna be very difficult for you to disconnect from that and breathe on your own. So we have to put ourselves to this birthing process, this separation process, and we have to do first uh, here domestically before we're any good when we repatriate. So these are some things you guys can take into account and be able to start to get the ball rolling so that way, whether there's a revolution or exodus, we can get these core fundamental things established first, instituted first, implemented, and then from there, we can use that moment that we have to push forth our momentums for our preservation, survival, and success if we are going to be in existence in the next 10, 20, 40, 50, 100 years from now.